Hello, and welcome to my review of Clay World Off the Table. This is a movie based on an internet series um, composed of mostly just short clay people talking and saying stupid things. The movie is not much different, so here I go. When I first heard that there was a Clay World movie being made, I was ecstatic. Sad to say, though, I was slightly disappointed by the movie. On the whole, it's a good movie. Well, compared to Knox's hilarious five or so minute claymations, it just didn't live up to my expectations. For one, the comedy in a five minute sketch did not translate well into a feature length movie, probably because of the way Knox does his comedy in his shorts. The shorts are completely random, and Knox does not really have to follow a particular plot line. This being a movie, he loses much of his randomness in his attempts to move the story forward. Also, what's funny for five minutes isn't going to be funny for an hour and a half. I watched this movie over a period of several days because I figured it would make each successive part funny, whereas if I'd watched it all at once, it wouldn't have been that funny. Another thing that didn't really work was when they went outside of Clay World, off the table per se. When they were outside of the house, I felt much of the comedy was reduced to cliché slapstick, such as a car running into a wall, instead of Knox's subtle but brilliant Hey guys! Hey guys! Guys! I see you over there. You want some Coca-Cola? Some Coca-Cola? Traditional kind of comedy. What was also very distracting was that, when outside, the camera work and poses of the claymen detracted from the comedy. They didn't move, move, move very much at all outside. A lot of the shots were just pictures of the claymen sitting around and Knox's voice echoing over the whole scene. I know Knox wanted to go bigger and better than his five minute shorts with this movie, yet the special effects seemed quite sloppily done, even though he is on a limited budget. It was a valiant attempt, but in the end, the funniest parts of the movie are not outside of the house, they're back on the table. Later on in the movie, in the fight with the aliens, the special effects were also distracting with just a shot of Clayman being thrown around. Again, Knox's comedy comes from hilariously random dialogue and the occasional good bloody Clayman, not special effects. Though I am picking apart this movie, the reason I'm giving it a 7 out of 10 and not a 4 out of 10 is that as a movie, it works. No movie is going to have you laughing the whole way through, no matter how good it is. I was laughing laughing pretty solidly the first half hour of the movie, which is exceptional, though the laughter did die down once the car left Clay World. I also like the character development. We lived through a lot of these characters' lives throughout the movie, so towards the end, I was actually feeling sorry for, for Chip, Dr. Bob, and other Clay people. For once, I cared about whether or not these clay people actually died. I also liked the ending a lot. It worked quite well for the movie as a whole. In closing, if you're a fan of Knox, I would recommend buying this movie. However, be forewarned, it is not as hilarious as the shorts, though it does work as a good movie, as a whole. I give Clay World a... Sh <clears throat> anyway, as I said, uh, I give movies... I rate movies how I would now and how I did then. Back then, I rated it a 7 out of 10. Now I rate it a 6 out of 10.